everyone. If you were able to watch last week's episode, um, you would have seen a beautiful hike that Mira and I did with her friend Gabe. We went to an eagle's nest and watched a little baby eagle with its parent. I don't know if it was its mom or its dad, but it was so beautiful. And I was reminded that my current camera setup is a little bit lacking and that it's high past time for an upgrade for me. So I ordered a new camera and this episode is all about that. Um, so you can take a look and see how it works. I hope you like it. I will link the camera bundle that I got down below. So check it out if you're interested. All right, so I am going to do my absolute best to open this with my left hand. <laughs> Bear with me, wow, that was bad. If you hear any noises in the background, I'm in the same room as Mira and this adorable little kitty cat who's having her pate breakfast and sticking her hand in her bowl. That's not good. Wow. This is not a sharp blade. <laughs> I'm gonna get like in trouble for promoting a lack of safety on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, that's good enough. So this is just kind of one of those bundles from Amazon. Um, I got it just because it came with a couple extra lenses, which is nice. Not fancy ones, but I had a budget. So this is a little filter kit. Um, this is the little mic they gave me. Got a little flash. Uh, it's a very flimsy box. It came with a power grip. Not Canon brand, obviously. Here is the telephoto lens it came with. Here's another little telephoto it came with. The 70 to 300. F4, but that's fine. Oh, this is the actual Canon lens. That's exciting. It's a 24 to 105, just a little kit lens. There it is. We got a little tripod in here, which is pretty cute. So now our videos won't be so wobbly. All right, there you have it. An incredibly cheap, flimsy little <laughs> aluminum tripod. The plastic feels like it might break. Um, I don't even know, honestly, if this will support the weight of the camera. Yeah, some SanDisk SD cards. That's always nice. Oh, this is the remote shutter release. That's kind of cool. It came with one of the little... I had one for my old camera, but it had a cord, so that's nice. It's wireless. It comes with a little ingester. It's a USB for an SD card. That's neat. It honestly comes with so much stuff I didn't even know what it was coming with. So monopod, we'll probably use that honestly more than that. This is cool, it's a little light stand thing. Uh, this is the off-camera shoe core. There's the <laughs> lovely model demonstrating. <laughs> I always love these things. It's like, that's the absolute worst color shirt. Who is this guy? I have no idea. He was probably paid to have that photo of him taken. That's hilarious. It's kind of like, camera vomit everywhere. And this little camera bag. And then finally, the lovely Canon 6D Mark II. Very excited to test this out. You know, it's just kind of an entry level full frame, but it's a big upgrade for my last camera, which was the 6DD. Ha ha ha. Um, before that, I shot with the 5D Mark III, but I was doing weddings at the time, and then I had to sell that camera to buy something important like a plane ticket or a car, so what to do. I have never read a manual for a camera. Ooh, there it is, the 6D Mark II. 
it's very light. It's very shiny. It smells like new camera. There's the wheel at the top. All the buttons. This comes out in swivels, which I've noticed comes in so handy, especially when you're doing low angle shots. I use that all the time. Strap, battery, battery charger. One day I'll get a fun strap, but you know, until then. This will do just nicely. So there is the beautiful camera body. Hello. And there you have it. A big box filled with a crap load of camera gear. Whew. So I am about to, well, Mira is driving me. Hello. And I am about to go on a hike to test my beautiful new camera. I named him Paul, after Paul Nicklin, who is my National Geographic idol. So, this is Paul, the Canon EOS 60 Mark II. I've done a couple of fun little putter around the neighborhood shoots with it. I'm loving it so far, the low light is insane. Um, so, I'll take a few more photos today, show you how it works, and if anyone's curious, See it in action. Just as a little camera test, um, we're waiting for Gabe in the parking lot, but there's these little sprouting plants in this pond and the sunlight's hitting kind of just the plants. It's pretty. So I'm gonna take a photo and let you see how it goes. That's the plant I'm gonna try to shoot. do a lower f-stop just so that it kind of pops out from the background um, it's pretty bright out those are my settings I'll do it in live view mode so you can see so this is live view mode you can see that's the autofocus selecting and then I just took the picture I took a few shots I'm pretty satisfied with that one the nice part about this is that it's a touch screen, so if you want to review your images, you can just kind of swipe. Oh, that was yesterday. Pretty cool. And then to zoom in, sorry, this is a little awkward. You can just do the little zoom, and you can pinch, and zoom in, which is really nice, or you can use the little scroll wheel here. Nifty. I like how it came out. I don't think I will ever get tired of pictures of running water with slow shutter speeds. I didn't bring a tripod with me, so I set it down on like rocks. Such a cool effect. Loving this touch screen.